Hello friends, before I jump into Java codes, let's see the big picture. This is the new version that I've posted on LinkedIn. This is the typical algorithm that you see when you want to implement uh, reinforcement learning using Monte Carlo. I use Epsilon Greedy to generate policies in uh, temporal difference, as I will mention in the next few slides. I really love important sampling. Okay, so I just want to implement this algorithm, the, the Q learning version, of course, not Sarsa. The Q learning, it's an off policy, uh, temporal difference, and uh, so my Java code is here. I have uh, three different hash maps, one for states, one for policy, one for actions. In fact, you can see the action type. I increase profit margin, decrease profit margin, decrease loss margin, open buy if I don't have any position. And for states, I use, uh, I use position type, for example, short, long, none and uh, feature feature is that for example you're using some RSI some some indicators so for example crossing some moving averages and many different indicators anyone you like so when the indicator uh, or even even you could use Fibonacci convergence or Elliott waves or or statistical arbitrage using common filter any technique do you like the output would be just some signals, okay? So I combine it, so I learn it. So I, I just let the reinforcement learning to learn it. So the so I have three different hash maps. I've created uh, I've created a, here. I've created a builder pattern because I just want to create a pipeline to set gamma as discount ratio, set epsilon greedy. So the smaller this, this uh, epsilon greedy is, it means that you you really uh, you are really interested in exploitation instead of exploration. But if your epsilon greedy variable is too high, of course uh, the maximum should be less than one. Uh, when the epsilon greedy is too high, it means you're you're going to do some explorations to see different parts of your space to, that you search. Uh, so I add states, this is a hash map, this is another hash map, this is the third hash map. You could have 1000 uh, episodes, anything you like. So I just loop over our uh, episodes. Uh, I just check if it is terminated or not. Because if it is terminated, you just go and initialize uh, the, the states and just keep doing it and if you want to see the update variable I just uh, want to show you the update how I update it this is the formula that you use so any formula that you have in your article you can put it here and just just running it and uh, you have all your states all your actions and you could see the performance of your algorithm and you could integrate this in your algorithmic trading to your uh, technical uh, bot.